Well, the sky is cloudy and the telescope, well, it's covered, but the garden, it's in full bloom. How about a tour of the Heavenly Backyard Garden? Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Gardening. Well, here you go, a quick overview of the garden in full bloom on this Memorial Day weekend here in Savannah, Georgia. And I tell you, it's been one of the best, most uh, loveliest springs we've ever had around here, and the flowers are showing that as well, as you can see. Look at the beautiful blooms that we're experiencing right now throughout the Heavenly Backyard Garden. And these flowers continue to uh, bloom each and every day. Uh, it's interesting, each day is the same and each day is different, as the daylily only blooms for one day. That's the botanical name, Hemerocallus, coming from the Greek meaning fleeting beauty for a day. Strolling through the garden. I think every garden has to have a St. Francis of Assisi. There's my rain gauge. Oh, and the birds love it out here too. This is one of my seedlings that I've been playing with. Here's a nice view from the back of the yard. As you can see, I have the telescopes covered. The sky above is totally cloudy. No astronomy tonight. Again, the view of the garden. Usually we open it up on this weekend, but we're not gonna do it this year because of the COVID-19 uh, threat. This is an interesting one. That one there is called Soft Summer Nights. And then these taller ones here, those are a couple of my experiments, that pink one and the red one. Now the um, double over here, that's a, a, a joiner daylily called Twisted Whis Whiskers. And additional spider daylilies. I think those are Jan joiners. Lots of daylilies today. And there'll be lots tomorrow and more on Monday and all of next week. Actually, the garden is at peak bloom between May 15th and June 15th out here. You know, as I said, daylilies only bloom for a day, and the next day, they look like pop balloons. And here's one I forgot to deadhead. You can see it right there. Looks like a pop balloon. Now every morning I come out here and groom the garden. That means I, I deadhead the daylilies, all the spent blooms. All these blooms you see today, I'll have to deadhead those tomorrow morning. Yeah, it may sound like a lot of work, but believe it or not, it's very relaxing and therapeutic. It's called grooming the garden. There's one called Eyes of Fury. An additional spider type daylilies. Let's move along to the other side of the garden. Because over here, we um, morph out from daylilies into dahlias. Of course, that's a, a daisy there, but uh, there's the first dahlia of the year blooming. It's not very large, it's a smaller dahlia. But uh, all these, well, it looks like tomato hoops. Well, that's what they are, but uh, they'll be holding up the dahlias during the uh, summer months. And within about four weeks, you won't even see these hoops. They'll be covered under foliage from the dahlias. 
Let's go over here to more dahlias. You get into uh, show flower buds over here. I just planted some new ones. I haven't gotten the pine straw down yet. There it is. Here's some more day, day lilies over here by the dahlias. Uh, the one on the right is called uh, Hold It. The one on the left is called Bursting Loose. Look at that thing. And then this one's an old, old one. It's about, gosh, 30 years old. Uh, it's called Orange Velvet. I got some snapshots that do better than the video camera. Of course, you're seeing those inserted in some of the locations of some of the daylilies. More daylilies over here. And then over here, these are all dahlias. To the left and center and to the right. And those will be blooming in June, July, August, and September, and basically into October. Way in the back over there, you see that? That's an oak leaf hydrangea. Boy, it smells sweet. Got a couple banana trees. More ornamental than vegetative. I don't get bananas off of them. I haven't yet anyway. I've gotten bananas, but not edible. More black-eyed Susans and uh, um, Gloriosa daisies. Society garlic, gotta have that. More daylilies. And my agapanthus are beginning to bloom. These are the white ones. I got some purple ones as well, but these are the white ones. And then over here, this is my new Asiatic Oriental lily garden. They usually don't bloom until, oh, June and late June and July is when they really spark their flowers. But there you go. Here's another view from this angle. Again, I have the telescopes covered. We've been having rain the last several days. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to have a, another astronomy video coming up very shortly. I'm working on, I think, a, a, a story on star clusters, or globular clusters, actually. And they're coming in the view right now. In the uh, skies in the month of End of May and all of June and July, you see a lot of globular clusters that are available. Hundreds of thousands of stars clustered together. But that's in another video. Well, there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the garden. Uh, it is just spectacular this time of the year, and usually this is the time we have our open garden. And visitors come from all around to look at the beautiful daylilies, and they are just that. Don't you agree? Now, I have a couple of astronomy things I have in the making, particularly star clusters. I'm looking at a lot of star clusters, globular clusters, and that's coming up in my next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.